Welcome to Sports and Touring. Today I have an essential journey to make. Alana is a student nurse. She has to spend 14 days in isolation and she's running low on a few supplies. That sounds amazing. I can hear your engine through the window. <laughs> it's an essential journey, no fun. Welcome to Sports and Touring, and yes, we are still on lockdown. It's been nearly three weeks since I've driven the car, and I really miss it, but we all have to play our part. However, today, I do have an essential journey to make. Now, a close family friend, Alana, is a student nurse based in London. She's been working really, really hard supporting all of our NHS heroes and being a hero herself. She's on her way home at the end of the placement. However, she has to spend 14 days in isolation just to make sure she's not bringing home any infections from the hospital. She's all by herself over the Easter weekend, and she's just got a few more days to make and she's running low on a few supplies. Right, let's see what we've got for her here. Pasta, more pasta, some ham, some pasta sauces, and some more roots. And of course, a little something for Easter. Take this away, let's hit the road. So good. <laughs> Fuel is so much cheaper, jeez. So I just stopped for some fuel on the way down and a little notification popped up and uh, it's JM on Cars latest video. So apparently there's a clip in there from me. A new YouTube channel that I've recently become aware of called Sports and Touring. If you wanna find out more about them, please do go and check out their channel. But for now, enjoy this little video. And in my spare time, I'm trying to keep the Sports and Touring YouTube channel going and growing. It's a car enthusiast lifestyle vlog. And believe it or not, it was actually the dad who was the driving force behind the YouTube. Wow, so thank you so much, James. I really appreciate you including that little clip and uh, thanks for giving me the opportunity to share it with you as well. I'm, wow, blown away. Anyway, I need to hit the road. Let's go and see Alana and make sure that she has all the things that she needs. Right, we are on the road. Oh, I missed the sound of this. Right, so we are on the road and um, you might be thinking why I'm wearing a hat. It's not just for the GoPro, it's actually because I haven't been able to get to the barbers and have my hair cut for three weeks, uh, four weeks even. Uh, so it's looking a bit messy. So I thought I'd better cover it up because it's a bit embarrassing right now. We have got uh, two tunnels, Woohoo! two tunnels to go through. And uh, at least we get to enjoy this process. Uh, poor Alana, of course, being stuck indoors all Easter weekend, in fact, for the, by the end of this week weekend, it will be two weeks that she's been stuck at home. But I have to say, I commend her for her for her courage and determination to keep everyone safe. Cheers, man. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. Ha <laughs> ha! 
no fun. One of the things that I love when you have to go south on the M11, if you're coming from uh, uh, from the west, is this bend here. It is brilliant. I think that's a recommended speed. Obviously, pretty much everything's had to come to a stop. Now, luckily, we actually recorded some content uh, over the last year that hasn't all actually gone out live. Now, some of it is from last summer, some of it's from the end of the year, some of it's from the beginning of this year. And uh, my plan is to try and pull some of that content together over the coming weeks and get that out there for you. Now, I'm still doing my day job, and actually, right now, I'm quite lucky, I'm almost busier than I've ever been, as I can actually work from home. And uh, that gives me some flexibility. So I'm making the most of my opportunities to actually uh, work for uh, income, as opposed to this, which is making nothing for me at the moment. I am gonna pull together a lot of the footage that uh, was filmed, say, over the last nine months, that never actually went live, just because I didn't have time to edit it all. And, uh, some of it is on the new cameras, some of it's on my old camera, which was basically my mobile phone and a GoPro. And uh, so the quality is gonna be a bit variable over the next couple of videos in terms of the footage, but hopefully the quality of the actual content and the entertainment itself uh, is still gonna be just as good. And hopefully, uh, now that I've learned a little bit about uh, editing along the way, hopefully a bit better. Idea where you are. Look to your left. My left. It's through the window. <laughs> oh, <Hello. I'm> <laughs> I was like, I thought I'd move somewhere else because I can hear your engine through the window. Really? <laughs> and there you are, right there. <laughs> right here. <laughs> oh wow, that's so funny. How are you? I'm Brad. How are you? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. I'll tell you what, it's just mad driving on the road to London and it's so empty, but you know, I yeah, I just felt a bit nervous about everything to be honest, but I'm here now. I need to figure out where to drop this stuff off. Well, listen, Alana, I just want to say, I think what you're doing is uh, an amazing thing also. Obviously, being a student nurse and putting in the time, being one of our NHS heroes is amazing. And uh, <laughs> and I uh, hope you hear people clapping for you at 8pm every week. And, yeah. um, and the fact that you stayed in isolation for 14 whole days, um, even over Easter, is really commendable. So thank you so much. And uh, hopefully those things will keep you going for the remainder of your isolation period. And when this is all over, I look forward to seeing you and the whole family uh, again. All right. Thank you very, very much. My pleasure. Anytime. <laughs> Well, I have to say that felt really good just to drop those things off for Alana. I'm so glad that she liked everything I bought. Really got so much respect for what she's done and what she's doing. Um, I've known Alana since she was a toddler. It was really nice just to be able to just, just do that little thing for her today. Just give her the last few things that she needs to survive these last few days of her quarantine. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> oh, I love the sound of this exhaust. So I just want to share with you a few things that we have planned for the channel. First of all, there's going to be more modifications to this car, more carbon fibre, more power. Ultimately, I'm going to be going forced induction. I won't tell you exactly how, whether it's supercharger or turbo. I also have plans to bring a supercar to the channel. Not just a supercar feature, but one of my own. There's going to be more ultimate driving roads features and reviews. There's going to be convoys, car shows and more. So if you've enjoyed this so far, make sure you hit the subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment and we'll see you next time on Sports and Touring.